Tamale, <laughs> <laughs> here we come. First time uh, using the domestic. First time domestic flight. Yeah, domestic. Feel like one key for yes. domestic flight. No be easy. Fucking expensive. Feel like they go to Ethiopia. <laughs> everybody thank you for checking me out this is Seko Simpson I'm welcoming you to December 2022 yes uh, today is 3rd of December 2022 and I'm coming your way again with something beautiful from Ghana yes I told you that this year we promoting projecting positivity within Ghana within Africa and my region central region of Ghana there are 16 regions of Ghana I've already told you now let me ask you have you been to Ghana before Put it up as a comment. Yes, Echo, I've been to Ghana. Where did you come? Which part of Ghana did you come? Okay, so we can say we have the northern part of Ghana and then we have the southern part of Ghana. So I am in the southern part of Ghana. And when we talk about transportation, you know, we have the taxi, the buses, flights, domestic flights. Now, today's video is going to talk about my experience, the first time having or traveling from the southern part of Ghana to the northern part of Ghana without a bus but this time with a flight yes there are two flight companies that i can talk about here we have the hour and then we have the passion air so shout outs to bright and the of odua global and ignatius of odua global so we had a trip to temale to support this uh, organization uh, commission a water project that is ongoing with odua global so hey uh my brother said echo we are ready get your um, passport or your Ghana card because this time I didn't go with my passport because it's an internal travel so I only went with my Ghana card uh, they took it we bought a ticket you know what ticket is a little bit expensive running even within Ghana yes flying passion air from from Tamale central you know from Accra to Tamale was a little bit expensive but the experience was so beautiful so my first time, you know, we went to the domestic um, section of the airport, which we call T2 or Terminal 2. So I met my brother Ignatius, we checked in. Uh, it was a beautiful experience with, the, you know, the people. I think that the whole crew inside Passion Air are trained to be professionals because they were, you know, the way we spoke, the way they spoke to us and everything. Echo was Simpson, connecting Africans in the diaspora to the motherland. So we got into the plane my first time flying domestic air or flight i didn't know what to expect but with passion air i was expecting to get fed because anytime i do um, international flights you get fed you know with uh, food rice with bread and stuff like that but this time we only served with water so mind you if you're traveling internally domestically don't think you're going to be served with fufu or banku or wache or jollof rice no you're only going to be served with water i don't know with our flight or air whether they serve uh, food but that is one thing that i've realized when i took passion air now the other thing that i'll say is that before the flight goes off definitely the crew came in and then they shared an important information with all of us that 
in case of any eventualities this is what and this is what you have to do that was another plus that i would give to them because i was thinking it was only done in the international flight but hey no the domestic flight you have the crew also telling you that okay this is what you can do in case of any emergency or you need any support the crew were also awesome i mean one other thing that i love is their outfits they were glutted in african fabric that was one interesting thing i love about using passion air for the first time anyway this is my first time so the guys or the waiter and the waitresses they were all in you know african prints and that looks so beautiful and then flying and landing i would say i would give passion air let's say eight over ten because the pilot i don't know his name he mentioned his name but that was a long time ago so uh the pilot flew us and landed us beautifully without any you know so it was a one hour trip from the southern part of ghana to the northern part of ghana exactly an hour so we landed in tamale for the first time we checked out we had a taxi into the town and the rest was just history we couldn't go to sleep no i mean how can you go to sleep for the first time going to Temale for someone who has been staying in the southern part of Ghana for more than 30 years and I've never had the opportunity to go to the northern part so I went there with my own perception of things I didn't go there to expect people to treat me in a different way because I'm from the southern part I was expecting things to go as all Ghana someone even asked me echo does the people in northern region also use the our, our, the ghana currency you know people have perceptions as to the northern part of ghana how they live their lives and all that so hey i will be sharing with you some of the things that i observed or some of the things that i enjoyed during my trip to the northern part of ghana to help odua global commission a water project for a rural community that has never seen a good drinking water for the past so many years so I want to say shout outs to Bright and Abulele for making this thing happen. And like I said, I'm going to share with you my experiences in Tamale. And then thanks to Passion Air for flying me all the way from the southern part to the northern part of Ghana. Enjoy this video and put up a comment. Let me know your experiences so far with Passion Air. Was it so nice like mine? Was mine or like super good? Was yours also super good? Put up a comment. And let me know and when you're coming to ghana this december remember that the whole world is coming to ghana this year december visit ghana 2022 that's what it is thank you very much for checking me out peace now i be down there and i say the man with the way the way when the money they go ah. yeah we're trying to help a sister bro